I'm going to take you back to 2011 to a conversation I had with a do-it-yourselfer on this edition of Behind the Camera. Welcome to Behind the Camera, where we take a look over the past 20 years at Unidus and the, video, the key videos and video style situations that we find ourselves into. And I want to go back to 2011. 2010, 2011 is really when I started to establish Unidus here. I just had moved to the area, so I was getting myself out there, meeting new people, um, networking, and during one of those networking events that I was going to regularly, I got referred to Cravings Gourmet Popcorn and its entrepreneur, Chad Jordan. Now, it took me a while to get on his radar because he didn't know me. I didn't know him. So you don't want to come off salesy, all that kind of thing, as that's not my style anyway, if the, for those who know me. And this is a case where social media really works. Uh, he kept seeing my name pop up or he kept seeing me come across his feeds on social media and he was really like okay there, there's something here so I'll sit down and talk with you so I set up the time to go to his shop before he opened and we had a good chat and it was it was an awesome conversation. I learned a lot about his business, his, his background, um, why he started Cravings Gourmet Popcorn, how that all developed, um, how that played into his expertise and what his plans were for his business. I mean, he was very open, very transparent. It was such a, it was a refreshing conversation because, you know, I'm, I'm really starting to try to establish my business as a business. Um, I never really thought of it as a business type thing, even though I'd been doing it for a decade. Um, and it was really it was really cool to hear a different perspective and somebody so open about his entire process and what his plans are. And it was it was awesome to hear. Um, but then we got to the part where, you know, in the conversation where I talk about what I do and what I provide and and stuff like that. And, you know, and, and in, during the, the first conversation, I learned that it was him that was very interested in doing more video. Um, he had done all of his own branding. He did all his own graphics. He taught himself all the programs like Photoshop and Illustrator uh, to do to make the th things that he was making, um, and they were fa fabulous. He really had a really good handle on his brand. And then when I was talking about what I bring to the table, um, he was like, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, I can see how that could be part of my, my repertoire. And it, you know, the conversation was good. But then, you know, you know, we got into more of the technical aspects of how this can work uh, and, uh, and the stuff that he's been doing and how that is awesome, you know, with the graphics and the branding. And then he, you know, he said, well, I bought this whole Adobe suite. It has, it has a video editor on there. I figure that I can do, I can do all that. I can do it myself. I'm like, okay. Now, one of the things, one of the aspects that I really look at is the fact that I will never discourage somebody from displaying their own creativity, um, ever. People are creative in so many different ways and everybody has a bit of creativity to them. Um, and talking with Chad, he's, he excelled in in the creati creative aspect in several different ways, including be able to implement, you know, using the software to, to implement his vision right on, the, right on the fly. And I said, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I completely understand where you're at. You know your story. You know how to implement it. You're creative enough to do it. But remember, and I said to him, do you have the time? 
Now remember, I, I told you we had this long conversation. Long conversation about all the things that he wanted to do and all the things that he has to do to make sure that his business is running and running appropriately and hitting the goals and hitting the marks that he's trying to do with it. So I listened to that whole thing. Listened to a whole spiel about all the things that he has to do. And I said to him, I'm like, if, you know, I don't doubt that you can do the things that you need to do or the things that you need me to come in to do. I don't, I don't doubt that at all. I don't doubt that you can do it. I said, but I'm not sure. In fact, I can guarantee you, you don't have the time. And he's like, well... You know, I set, I set aside time here and time there. I'm like, okay. But before I let, leave, I want to let you know that when you run into that, that spot where you're like, I can't do this. I can't do this by myself. I'm going to need help. You know where I am. You know how to find me. I can help you. Simple as that. I mean... And then not more than, well, it was probably anywhere between 24 and 48 hours, not kidding. I get a call from Chad and he says, I think the quote was, dude, you are so right. I need your help. And right from there is how we established our relationships uh, going forward helping him produce the videos that he needs, helping him enhance the video development that he needs to do. And he ha he's actually become a really good friend of mine as well. And so that's why I love that story because it really accentuates the fact that why we are here as an organization is to help, not to take over your business, not to say that you couldn't do it on your own, but to give you the opportunity to focus on other things while we help you manage the vision that you're trying to put out there for your business. And that's why I love what I do. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, email newsletter, even our blog if you want to do that. But don't miss out on the other behind the cameras and all the other stories that we have coming out this year. Looking forward to seeing you next time.